I'm Rick Rams, Dean of Kinesiology and Athletics. Today I'm here to present our 2018-19 Women's Basketball Preview. Join with me is Head Coach Margaret Moore. Coach, thanks for joining me today. Thanks, Rick. We are expecting big things here at Cypress College for Women's Basketball again. Coming off three straight Orange Empire Conference Championships, we have a loaded sophomore class, a group of young freshmen who are eager to learn and they're doing great. Talk a little bit about your expectations for the season and what we're going to see moving into this year's campaign. I'm really excited. I honestly hope I don't screw it up. <laughs> um, you know, I was reading a quote the other day, and I think it's from Don Correll from San Diego Chargers, mm -hmm. and he said, there's a lot of really good coach coaches in the country. It takes a lot of interested players. And thankfully, in our program, we have attracted interesting players. Interested players, they're interesting too, but interested yes. <laughs> <laughs> in terms of their passion, their commitment. And so I really, you know, all of us coaches know it's always about the players. And I, I like our pieces this year. You know, I think we have enough shooters. I think we have the post play. I think we have the athleticism. Uh, we have the depth. So, you know, we're hoping that we keep our nose clean and work hard that good things could happen. So let's talk about, start with a few newcomers to watch. You have some freshmen coming in this year. Uh, you've been getting through conditioning uh, uh, for fall as we get ready for the season to launch here. Yeah. What are some things that have stood out in your observations so far as we're preparing for our season opener here? You know, from our freshman class, we're going to get some really good guard play. And potentially, um, you know, we have four really quality point guards and two of them are freshman guards. And uh, I just think that one of them brings a lot of speed. Priscilla brings a lot of you know, up-tempo speed. And then Janae is a really excellent passer. And then our other freshmen just really, like I said, add those pieces. And then even our sophomore class said that, Coach, good job. You guys got some good kids, you know. And I, I give so much credit to our assistant coaches that do a lot of that initial recruiting and then I get to get in the mix. But we got some shooters and Sarah and Cass. And, um, you know, and all the other freshmen, you know, we got some size that I just think they're doing a good job because they're challenging the sophomores. You know, and, and we, we don't know how the conference will go this year, but I keep trying to tell these players, you're playing against, you know, some of the best freshmen last year in the conference. So if you're able to hang with them, you know, that's going to say a lot for you. So when you look ahead to this year's schedule, we open with Moore Park. We have, a, again, a very tough non-conference schedule. We get in the Orange Empire Conference. As you look at your opponents that you're going to be facing this year, give your scan across the field. What do we expect to, to see in terms of matchup, strength of schedule? We're playing some good opponents this year. Jeez, I really think. I mean, we have a huge game on Saturday against Moore Park, mm -hmm. and they return a whole state you know, post players, so that's going to be a lot to handle. And they have a good bounce back guard, and they're well coached, and they play hard. So out of the gates, we are like here is top level community college basketball. And then El Camino, and then the Merced, the Merced tournament, El Camino, and Alamo Valley. You know, we're going to play all the big dogs. We like to believe we're one of the big dogs as well. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, and, and most importantly, we want to be one of the bigger dogs at the end of the season, you know, and learn from. You know, hopefully successes in the preseason and learn maybe from a couple losses in the preseason to be at our best in what I think is the toughest conference, Orange Empire Conference. I'm now joined with sophomore forward Hannah Avila MacArthur. Welcome back. It's a pleasure. Time flies. We were just sitting here doing a regional preview right before our loss, unfortunately, to LA Trade Tech in our playoffs. So your freshman year finishes. We've had the summer to condition and get ready for what's expected to be an incredible season for the Lady Chargers. Talk a little bit about this year's group of girls, some of the goals we ex expect to achieve, and where we're going to go from here. Well, we definitely expect to make it to the playoffs once again, and we're totally aiming to be, get that four-peat this year. I think with this group of girls, we have the skills to do it. We definitely have the, these freshmen that came in are very skilled on the outside and the three-point line, which is amazing to have since we did lose Viv and Gabby last year, who were very high scoring from the outside. And we definitely got some new guards that definitely know how to penetrate the inside, so that also is helping us as post players and as a whole team, because they can also lead very well. And we, a lot of us have been training all year long as sophomores, which is really going to bring back that extra fire this year. So we're definitely aiming to be back in the playoffs like last year. Last year, we get into the playoffs. We played well as a team, especially down the stretch. I mean, you, we, our team was playing some really good basketball going into the playoffs, and we played a really good team that ended our season. Going into your sophomore year, what is the mindset, though, ultimately, of the sophomores who are part of that group who want to get this done now? What, what are we thinking about as we prepare now for this season? We're definitely aiming high. That's definitely like our, our mindset right now. We're, our mindset is get to it, get it done. Because we can't, we can't mess around on the court this year because there are more sophomores up for us. So now that shows us that we have to lead. 
we do have to lead the freshmen now, so that's also a lot more responsibility. But with that responsibility comes the great leadership, which I think all of the sophomores have now grown to. And with all training in the summer, we definitely, that mindset has switched from freshman to sophomore. And as we're sophomores, it's our last year. So we do want it, we want everything we can get out of it. So cool. we're definitely aiming really high. So during shoot around at home games, you always look into the crowd. You probably see a number of alumni. Does that yeah. probably reflect how connected they are to the well, program? It's, it's great to see alumni in the stands because you know that they're still there to support you, not only with more, but us as players. They might not know us as well, but they're still a charger. Once a charger, always a charger. For sure. Is there a little pressure with that too, knowing that as you look at the alumni, okay, you're part of an Orange Empire Conference Championship, but we go a couple deep and even further beyond that, and you see them sitting up in the crowd, they know what you're supposed to be doing, who's supposed to provide coverage, where that needs to be, and you know, that pressure's on there. I also think it, like, it boosts us a little bit to knowing like, what we represent. For sure. It's great to see it in the stands. It like, allows you to like, see someone supporting you. Even though they, they're not here anymore, they're still here for us. The passion for women's basketball on this campus has been evident during Coach Moore's entire career. It's athletes like yourself who show up in game and have big games. I mean, averaging almost a double-double uh, throughout the season is actually incredible. And I know Coach Moore and everyone has high expectations of you, and we look forward to watching you this season. Hannah, great job, and we look forward to watching the Lady Chargers this thank year. You. I'm now joined with sophomore forward Krista Evans. Krista, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for letting me be here. Absolutely. We are poised for a big season for women's basketball. Talk a little bit about our preparation as we get ready to launch the 2018-19 season here. I think that our conditioning is most important because Coach Moore emphasizes by the end of like the second quarter, other teams are just completely tired and we that's kind of when we get our boost of energy to just keep going. So I think conditioning and just um, emphasizing where our strengths are and focusing on those is the most important thing for us. From freshman year to sophomore year, talk about one of the things that you maybe have observed thus far where maybe you've developed or you see improvement, the team individually as a whole that you could speak to. Um, I would say individually, I've definitely grown a lot just in the aspect of seeing the court more and just seeing the open spots on the floor and just seeing where things open up. Um, as a team, I think that we just adapted more to Coach Moore's um, coaching style and just how she does things. When I first came here, it was a little bit difficult just to see, like, going from high school to college is a big jump, and there's a lot of differences. So just getting used to that was probably the biggest thing. Coach Moore is a, a motivator and a dynamic leader. <laughs> if you were to describe Coach Moore to someone who is considering to play their basketball career at Cypress College, mm -hmm. how would you describe Coach Moore? Um, Coach Moore is very intense, but she knows what she's doing. She's been doing it successfully for the past 20 years, so I think that you just have to trust what she's saying and know that she has your best interests at heart. As I have asked Hannah, as I ask almost every single one of her student athletes, whether they're sitting here with me or just casually walking down the hall, what's it like being part of a winning tradition, part of a program that's been so dominant, particularly in the Orange Empire Conference? and is actually feared when they see you on a playoff bracket. What's it like being part of this, this Lady Charger program? Mm, I love it. I, um, I think that it's a little bit intimidating when you first come in just because the name Cypress means so much to so many teams and we definitely have a huge target on our back because we 3 P and we're aiming to 4 P. but I think that if you want to be successful, you have to accept the challenge and just kind of roll with it. Krista, we look forward to watching you this season. We expect big things. All the best, and let's have a great year.